Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Today I will be unboxing a new toy that I recently purchased. Recently made a purchase for this baby here from Adorama and it got delivered earlier this week. This is the yeah, yeah. Westcott Optical Spot. So we get to, we're going to just jump straight into it. As I said, it got delivered earlier this week and it comes in this beautiful presented box with a couple images on the outside. You have a demo that I think Lindsay did herself. A photo of Lindsay on one side, telling you a bit about her and she's a fashion and portrait photographer and where she is at the moment. I know she's a Canon ambassador and she shoots Canon. I think it's a R5 she's shooting with at the moment. And on the other side, you have another image on the back side, an image that I'm dying to, to, to give a go of. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a try of this myself. And that's it. So we're going to get into unboxing. So I have bought the Pro Photo version. I have Pro Photo lights. I use right now I'm being lit with the Pro Photo B10 Plus and I have another one over here uh, with another Pro Photo B10 Plus and I don't need the third one as you can see I'm lit nicely. Uh, the part number is hash 4760P. P stands for Pro Photo but you can also get the Boins mount, you can get the Elecron mount and you can get a brown color mount. And basically, I think from what I've seen on the internet so far, it is just the back of the, the spot. There's a, the adapters, they sell you the various adapters that will allow you to connect them to your lighting. I just happen to have Pro Photos, I like Pro Photo, and that's what I got. So, with no further ado, let's see what's inside this bad boy. And it comes, it looks like it's a nicely presented carrying case. And we're gonna have to do this the smarter way. Turn the box upside down, slide it out. That's it, we empty, we out. Put that over here. And we have, as you can see, Westcott branded carrying case. We have a handle on the top and two hooks on the side. I'm assuming this is for a carrying strap, which I'm assuming is inside the box. As we open the case, we have nicely presented. So it's like the bit that the bit that connects to the head. And as, if you have pro photo lights, normally most of my adapters, most of my um, modifiers have this rubber rubber mount, and they normally, they normally just clamp on. So this is through the pro photo pro photo. I'm assuming this goes on the back of the spot. We have the spot itself. And these I've been hearing many things about the leaves. Yeah, leaves all in place. And they're not bad. Feels pretty sturdy. Feels nice. I don't know if you guys can see. I've just basically opened the leaves up, but there you go. They can slide back into place. And I guess this is what made the adjustments to give you those nice sharp slither of light using this modifier. And here we have a little black bag. And let's see the oh. So here we have the lens. This is the lens for the optical spot. And it comes branded with Lindsay Adler on the side of it. Uh, it's a standard Canon EF mount. So it has the Canon lens cap on the back. On the front, this looks like a gel. Yeah. 
Well, that's weird. Right. So, on the front of it, it looks like it came connected to one of my gel caps. Is this a gel cap? It's a gel ring clip. Yeah. Yeah, it comes... Oh. It comes with the gels. The gels are in here. Yeah, I have a set of gels. One, two, three, four, five gels. And a gel ring clip. Now that was attached to the front of the lens. And the one thing I would say that looks like it's missing, and I'm hoping my 50 mil, I'm hoping it's a 50, the 50 mil cap I can put on here, is that the front of the lens does not have a lens protector. So, hmm. Give me one minute. Let me go and check something. Let me go and try something straight out of the box. One minute. So I was hoping that I could have put my 58mm, basically the 58mm lens cap that comes with Canon lenses. I had one just out of the view of the camera and was hoping that I could use this to protect the other side of my my lens but it seems like it's too small so it's not a not it's non-standard size i need to check and see what size this is because what i wouldn't want to be doing is traveling around with this and i travel a lot because sometimes i shoot um, on location around japan and i plan to use this and incorporate this into into my sessions and one of the things i wouldn't like to do is to be traveling with this and damage my lens i know it comes in this beautiful bag but i don't yeah, if something gets in there, I can see this becoming damaged. And from what I can see, this is how you would focus the lens to give you those sharp. So basically, the lens turns and extends out of the out of the case. And you can see on one side, on the other side is the EF Canon EF mount, which basically connects it to the front of this. Also, we have inside the bag and these are the gobos so we have a it comes with um, I think eight yeah eight gobos and a gobo holder the gobo holder here we go and here's the gobo holder We have eight gobos and the gobos are numbered from what I can see. So I have here, this one looks like a window. You have number three written on one side of it. This looks like barcodes, number two. And these are like window blinds, number one. So we have one, two, and three. Four, five, and six are all circles. We have a very small circle, one just a little bit bigger, and it U circle number seven and number eight number seven is a heart number eight is a star so you guys can see that expected we have a, a carrying strap this I'm assuming will clip yep this will clip on to the side of the bag and the bag travels on, opens on its side. So basically, this is the side of the bag, and this is the bag on the top. So the top handle is on the top, and your strap will clip on here. And finally, we have a quick start guide. And on the quick start guide, you have your warranty on one side, and here. Tells you the basic uh, how many what's included coming included in the in the book box. You have one optical spot, the light mount, focusing lens, which is 150 millimeters f3.5. You also have a rear lens gap. You should have put what should be here as well should be a front lens gap, but I don't know why they haven't put that in. I'll, hopefully somebody can tell me down below. Uh, we have a focusing lens case, five gel, color gels. The gel ring clip, eight gobos, one gobo holder, a gobos, one gobo storage case, and the travel case. That is everything that's included in the box. And then you have this beautiful quick start guide to get you familiar with your new toy. Here we have what's this? 
we have the optical spot lighting recipe guide with a a code basically you scan this code and I'm guessing it will take you to the website where you can kickstart your creati creativity you also get a code for 25% off purchases on Lindsay's website lindsayadler.photo and optical guide and then on the other side you have some free guides up to 40 minutes a 40 minute free free session with Lindsay telling you five different concepts and setups while breaking down the position of the light and telling you how to set up your optical spot so that's it for now I'm gonna put this bad boy together and see what it can do so let's start so I'm gonna not just unbox it we're gonna put it together with you guys with me yep just as I thought you remove one of the four knobs loosen the other three and then you slide the mount into place so here we go so I've already undo took out one the other three are already slacked, tight, loosened. And I'm going to slide this into place. And then replace screw number four. place then we are gonna attach the lens now that just gave me an idea because right over here I have my 24 to 70 f 2.8 L series lens and I've been watching the videos preparing before I bought this I, I knew that I could also add my own lenses to this to give me a bit more control over the light coming out of this um, from what I understand this one is 150 millimeters this is my 24 to 70 so this should give me a wider view a wider a wider light coming out of the, the lens and I just want to check let me put on the original first and just like all EF mounts you have the red dot and the red dots you just line the red dots up together and it locks into place boom and there we have it my optical spot is now ready to be mounted on my pro photo lights right now what i'm going to do there's a release clip here to get it off you simply push the release clip down turn remove then scat back on and we are going to try to fit my 24 to 70. Fit exactly the same way yep and here we have it fit it onto the front is now my 24 to 70 f 2.8 l the usm it's a bit heavy it makes it a lot heavier than than when you have the original lens mounted on it but it's beautiful nice fit i can't wait to get my hands and start working with this so i'm looking forward to that so I've managed to put it all together and we will attach these later and that's it guys focus and lens in place everything is good to go and I can't wait to get started to start playing with this I'm so looking forward to this and I'm gonna have me some serious fun because there's so many ideas there's so many things you can do with this with this, the light I've seen a few demonstrations of the light coming from this thing and I can't wait to get stuck in. So, if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget, click the button, subscribe, because I will be posting a couple videos and a couple how-tos on how to use this bad boy and what I get up to with it. So if there's anything you would like to know from me, if there's anything you'd like me to do, any questions, anything, comment below, click the links to subscribe, at PDB Photos on Instagram, www.pdbphotos.com is my website, and thanks for subscribing to our channel here. Brandy is currently upstairs hidden away from us for today, but I'm gonna get her done in a minute and we're gonna go through a couple tips and tricks with this baby. 
Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.